really good game, like throughout his tenure with the Sixers, not even just this season, but throughout his whole tenure with the Sixers, this season included, like you'll see Tobias Harris will put up like a good, nice 16, 17, 18 points throughout the regular season. You know, then like games against teams like the Hornets or the Pistons. But then all of a sudden, when it comes time to step up against top teams, you'll get maybe nine or ten at most. Well, he'll get outscored by at least two or three other play, possibly three or more players even. And we saw against the series against the Knicks. He had that one decent game where he got close to 20 in that game five win. Was it game? Yeah, game five won. But then what happened in game six? What happened in game six? Zero. Zero points. I mean, this was even statistically worse than Ben Simmons' final game with the Sixers in that Game 7 against the Hawks in 2021. I mean, that's a shame, too. Because Tobias Harris, that first, when he was there that second whole season, that 2020-21 season, I thought he should have made the All-Star team that year. I thought he was a snub that year when we got the number one seed. But then since then, what has he really done since then? And Tobias is supposed to be an X factor for the team, but I remember this right here. Back a few years back, Daily Dripperson was the YouTuber. He made a video calling Tobias Harris the X factor during that season. We got the number one seed, and what happened? When we saw consistently, when he was only averaging like between like ten to thirteen or nine to thirteen. In big games, the Sixers couldn't close out. But when Tobias would occasionally get close to 20, which is only like a handful of times in big games, they would somehow win. So Tobias Harris was an X factor, but he was an X factor who didn't do his part. And that's Tobias Harris's tenure with the Sixers for me, right there in a nutshell. 